everyone and welcome to the homework of lecture 31 where we talked about dynamic arrays and actually the homework formulation for today is almost exactly the same as was for the previous lecture if you were here for the homework of the previous lecture you already know this homework but let's go through it one more time so let's say the user has a text at hand and the user wants to analyze this text, meaning the lengths of the, of the words of this text. So let user first enter the count of letters in the longest word of his text. So this will be the variable n, so let's say. And afterwards, let the user enter the count of words for each of those letter counts. So how many words uh, are there with only one letter, how many words are with two letters and so on, until the longest word n, how many words are there with length n. And afterwards, when the whole information is entered, we draw a dot diagram showing the count of words with every length, from one to n letters. But in this case, don't assume the upper boundary of n like we did it uh, in the last uh, lecture's homework. So don't assume that uh, n will be, for example, less than 100 or something like that. Use the real data. Use the array of lengths exactly n. So user will enter n and use the array now of lengths n and do this task. So this was our example printout here. So the user enters the count of the longest word, for example, 10 is the count of the longest word. And then we ask the user to enter um, how many words are there with one letter, two letters, three letters, and so on, until 10 letters. And user enters all those numbers, and then we draw a dot diagram, something like that. With one letter, there were five words, so we just print five dots. With two letters, we print 17 dots, and so on. Um, so this is our programs print out. So okay though, so let's try to do it now and then come back to see the solution. So the homework solution again contains two parts like uh, the previous homework entering part where user enters everything, then the drawing part where we do, do the dot diagram. So in the entering part, what is changed from the previous lecture, the array type, of course, R, uh, the variable R is not a static array in this case, but a dynamic array. So we create it like that. We use the asterisk before the name of the array when declaring the variable R. So this is a pointer to an array. And then it is, of course, a regular integer, regular variable. So now user enters N and afterwards we can create the array in the memory new int n creates the array in the memory and we assign this created space memory space to this our already existing variable r pointer and afterwards it was said that uh, we must use the array of lengths exactly n so here we have created the array of lengths exactly n and in the previous lecture, we did it a bit differently. We didn't use the array element number zero at all, because there is not any word with zero lengths. And we started with one, but in this case, we have only the lengths n, not n plus one in this case. So we have to use also the element number zero. And actually in the element number zero will be stored the information about how many words are there with the lengths one, not zero. Okay, so uh, because an enumeration starts with zero, but uh, word length starts with one, so we have to ask user how many words are having i plus one letters, and this information will be stored in the uh, element number i in the array. So this uh, little feature here must be taken into account here. 
And now when everything is entered, so the drawing part starts and in the drawing part the same thing must be of course taken into account. We go through the whole array again from element number 0 till element number n minus 1 and we count, uh, we print out the uh, lengths of the word first of all, meaning i plus 1 is the length of the word and after the column we print out the array no, uh, element number i which is the actual count of the words having this many letters i plus 1 and uh, we perform it uh, like we did last uh, time <clears throat> we create a for loop where we go through the uh, the loop this many times which is the value of this element r number i and we print the dot each time so we print uh, r i i dots in one line and afterwards we print an end line uh, for, for the next line to be located in the next uh, line physically uh, on the screen. And uh, these two parts, when they are done, what else we have forgotten here? Finally, we have to, of course, perform the releasing of the memory part. So delete the array from the memory, this is how it's done. And now everything is done and the homework is solved. So I hope this wasn't too hard for you, actually it should be very easy if we have already done the previous homework. And so thanks for participating also this time and see you in a few days for the next lecture. So see you soon!